times 166 and 167. So let's check right in at lesson 166. First part in lesson 166 says, circle the 10 ice cream cone, put an X on the third ice cream cone. So do that part carefully, just follow the directions. Divide in fourths, write one fourth in each little space. Next three say divide in halves, and then write one half in each of the parts. Write the digits for hundreds, tens, and ones. Remember, always start at the ones place, write the number in the ones place, then in the tens, then in the hundreds. Now for the next part, we're gonna do our flashcards before we um, get into the next part. So let's do these flashcards quickly. Each one, two times. One penny equals one cent. One penny equals one cent. One quarter equals 25 cents. One quarter equals 25 cents. One dime equals 10 cents. One dime equals 10 cents. One nickel equals five cents. One nickel equals five cents. One yard equals 36 inches. One yard equals 36 inches. One yard equals three feet. One yard equals three feet. One foot equals 12 inches. One foot equals 12 inches. One year equals 12 months. One year equals 12 months. One week equals seven days. One week equals seven days. One gallon equals four quarts. One gallon equals four quarts. One quart equals two pints. One quart equals two pints. One pint equals two cups. One pint equals two cups. One dozen equals 12 things. One dozen equals 12 things. So the next part, fill in the missing number carefully. Think through it. Top of the next page says put equal signs or arrows. And our arrows, what we call bird's beaks, Remember, the birdie one's the biggest worm, okay? So you open his mouth to the biggest one. Then you have addition and subtraction. Um, first one is three numbers long. And be sure to write the answer after the first fact, okay? So the first two numbers, um, add or subtract those. Find your answer and write it, and then do the last fact. The rest of your lesson is addition and subtraction. Do it carefully. You have a speed draw for lesson 166. It is subtraction, um, the 13s are on there. So if someone set the timer for you for one minute and see if you can get that finished. Let's turn over to lesson 167. So for the very first part of this lesson, um, I'm gonna give you facts and you simply just write the answer. Okay, so the first one, number one, 13 minus eight. 13 minus eight. Number two, 11 minus nine. 11 minus nine. Number three, six plus six. Six plus six. Number four, seven plus three. Seven plus three. Number five and six are long ones, so do these carefully. Number five, three plus nine minus four. Three plus nine minus four. Number six, 13 minus six plus two. 13 minus six plus two. Okay, lay your pencils down and we will go over the rest of the lesson. The next two are story problems. I'll read these to you now and you can do these later when you're doing your work. 
Michael used seven bales of straw to bed the cows and six bales of straw to bed the calves. How many bales did he use in all? The next one says, Rebecca has eight flowers. Only seven of them have bloomed. How many flowers have not yet bloomed? So the next part says, write the number for each number word. And then you have addition, addition sorry, not subtraction, just addition, doubles. And what it means by doubles is six plus six, eight plus eight, five plus five, seven plus seven. So a number plus itself. Let's say our three doubles that we learned, say so them each three times. So starting with seven plus seven, say, say it three times. Seven plus seven equals 14. Seven plus seven equals 14. Seven plus seven equals 14. Let's do eight plus eight. Eight plus eight equals 16. Eight plus eight equals 16. Eight plus eight equals 16. And nine plus nine. Nine plus nine equals 18. Nine plus nine equals 18. Nine plus nine equals 18. So do those carefully. Top of the next page says, finish the counting pattern in each row. First of all, find the counting pattern and then finish it. The rest of your lesson here is addition and subtraction. Do it carefully, check over it. Be sure you fill in each of those facts, thinking through it, okay? Don't just slot down a number, think through it and see if you can get all of those correct. You have a speed draw for this lesson as well. It is addition, um, 13s are on there again. Um, the doubles like, 8 plus 8, 7 plus 7, 9 plus line are not on there, just up to 13. So do those carefully, have someone put the timer, see if you can get that finished in one minute. Now something that is just a little bit new today, we're going to look at this. Who knows what this is? This is the $1 bill, okay, $1. And George Washington is on the front of this, okay? So George Washington is on the front of $1. Do you know how much $1 is worth? One dollar is worth the same as four quarters. So four quarters is the very same thing. If you gave someone four quarters, you gave them the same much as if you would have handed them one dollar. So let's say together, four quarters equals one dollar. Four quarters equals one dollar. So if we count these, let's count these. How much is four quarters? How many cents is it? How many cents is one dollar worth? Let's count it. 25, 50, 75, 100. Now if four quarters is the same much as one dollar, how many cents is in one dollar? One dollar equals 100 cents or 100 cents equals one dollar. So let's count this. 25, 50, 75, 100. 100 cents equals one dollar, or it is the same as one dollar. <clears throat> so what we can say is 100 cents equals one dollar. And that's what I have written up here on the board. This is how we write one dollar. The dollar sign is an S with a line down the middle, okay? You put a one with a decimal point, and then two zeros, one dollar. 100 cents equals one dollar. Say that with me. 100 cents equals one dollar. 100 cents equals one dollar. 100 cents equals one dollar. So really, we never say something is worth 100 cents. Like in a store, if it's worth 100 cents, it won't say 100 cents. It'll say one dollar, okay? So when you, if you're counting money and it comes to 100 cents, we're not gonna write 100 cents anymore, but we will write one dollar because 100 cents is the same thing as one dollar. So four quarters is 100 cents, and 100 cents makes one dollar. So four quarters and one dollar is the very same thing. This is as much as this. It equals the very same amount. Okay, check over your lessons carefully. Um, be sure you follow directions, wrote neatly, and did your very, very best. I think that is all for today. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Bye.